Hi, my name is Emil van Bokkel. And my name is René Kuipers, I'm with SLTN Interaxis and I've been working with Emil over the last nine years and I'm the lead information architect. CB is a company that's about 145 years old, started in Amsterdam. I don't go too far into history, but I'm in the middle of a big, huge change and that's the digital transition from physical books to e-books. We serve about 90% of the market, do logistics between publishers and the booksales in the Netherlands and all of a sudden there is something called an e-book. And if the market is changing, the rise for information is huge. The demand for information from our customers and we deliver that as a service to our customers. Our challenge is to support the digital transformation for our customers. We deliver BI as a service to our customers. Uh, we are doing it already from 1997. Due to the transformation and the pressure on the market, the declining physical market, the rising digital market, you need to have inside information on a very low grain level. What's going with my books? Who is selling my books? Am I going to bricks? Am I going to clicks? Is it streaming? What is the new business model? How is the price elasticity between physical books and digital books? A lot, a lot, a lot of questions by our customers. So we need technology to answer those questions by a huge amount of data. And there is where Alco came in. And René knows everything about that change. A couple of years ago, we moved, from, uh, we moved to Exadata for our primary data warehouse environment. And that already gave an enormous boost in, in, uh, in performance. Uh, but like Emil said, with the, uh, with the change that's going on in the book market and the e-books coming out, and uh, the faster need for information and the need for faster information actually led us to a new architecture. So uh, we got into Exalytics a couple of years ago and the most recent addition to the Exalytics machine was database in memory. So we use OBIEE. We have reports that actually run uh, uh, they used to run for over 20 seconds, but hey, it's over a billion records that, the, that the, the report hits. And yet again, we wanted to improve that performance. So we introduced Database 12C on the Exalytics box. We set up in memory, uh, and somehow that turned out to be the silver bullet. The immediate response times went down from over 20 seconds to split second. And not only we are happy, but the customers are happy as well. Yeah. A very important thing nowadays is that people want to have great visuals, but also great response times. Because if you're looking at information, for example, at your iPad, if you don't have a response within two seconds, they're gonna check the Wi-Fi. And therefore, we want to have a mobile platform giving the inside information of what's going on in business, what's going on in retail with the books. Therefore, you need response time within two seconds on your mobile device, but we've got huge amount of data. Hundreds of millions of row, uh, rows of data must be crunched and an instant to answer the questions of the publishers and the booksellers. And it was not only beneficial to the end users, it was also beneficial for our development team because we could get rid of indexes, we could get rid of materialized views. Basically, a lot of knowledge that we had built up over the years around data modeling and performance shooting, we, we could have thrown in the bin because once we set up database in memory, the only thing we needed to set up was the lowest grain of data in tables we have no indexes, we have no materialized views anymore. Only raw data. <laughs> raw data, so there's less objects to manage. Yeah. And, oh, sorry. and the beautiful thing is, if you don't need to worry about performance or data modeling or indexes anymore, you could put all the effort in creating real value out of money, uh, uh, out of information for your customers. So instead to be internally focused to your technology, you can be externally focused to the business. And that's a beautiful thing that came along with DBIM. Yes, and what adds to that is that the development team now is even faster in uh, creating new reports and creating insights. Because when you run your development team and they create new, new reports and you have to wait for over 40 seconds to get a result that is not satisfactory, you have to redo the report. Now they have that result within one second. So the, the, the actually development process has become um, uh, much more, uh, much, much faster. Yeah. And we changed our development methods to agile uh, uh, development. And because that speed of thought designing, uh, uh, it embraces the way you are developing agile. So you can deliver every two weeks new insight information to your customers, instead of delivering performance issues and uh, uh, fix that issues every week. And what have we learned? What have we learned? Put everything in memory and you're done.
no indexes, no materialized views, no aggregates, raw data. Um, I'm for 18 years in the BI business and it, it really amazed me. Flipping the switch has never been easier. And happy customers, don't forget about that. <laughs>